There's 11 races at Chartin on Sunday, including the final Group 1 of the season. That is the Standard Charter Champions and Chater Cup, and a really strong undercard to go with it as well. I'm Andrew Jillian. Good to have your company. I'm joined uh, by former analyst in Paul Lally and race caller Tom Wood as well to go through the racing. And, uh, Tom, I thought really good lineups for both features, really. Yeah, absolutely. The Standard Chartered Champions and Chater Cup last year's winner, uh, Panfield, in the race uh, takes on up-and-coming uh, progressive horse here in Hong Kong, Senior Toba. Casper Founders got uh, uh, three in the race, and the sprint race is a beauty as well with uh, the handicap conditions. Yeah, no jackpots uh, this week, Paul. We've got lots of interesting horses on the programme. Yeah, also. yeah, the undercard's really, really good. Uh, there's been a lot of horses that are coming here for the first time, whether they've run, uh, raced in other jurisdictions or also uh, horses that are uh, having their first start. And, of course, you've got those Chung Fa um, uh, form lines to take into account as well, horses that have trolled up there. OK, all right. So plenty to get uh, through here with the 11 races uh, on the turf for all of them. And we're on the A course as well. We start off with the, uh, the Griffins going round in the opener. A joyful champion, unfortunately, not going round. He would have some sort of chance, I thought, as well. He finished fourth in the opening Griffin race behind behind uh, circuit nine. It'll now be a very, well, even shorter prize favourite, I imagine. This in the Pakistan star plate. There was a little bit, dare I say, of Pakistan star about Circuit 9's uh, first win. And Matthew Chadwick will ride him. He was very impressive beating Glory Boba. But he doesn't go around. Flying Silver does. They finished last for the seven runners. Lucky Banner finished fifth in that race. Our Precious makes his debut. Superb move was sixth to Circuit 9 first up. And Young Sparkle finished in third place that uh, day. So speed-wise, uh, Tom, what are we looking at? Well, Lucky Banner had a little bit of speed on uh, debut, uh, superb move, uh, he was sort of uh, maybe midfield a little bit worse last uh, time out, flying silver, he didn't have a lot of early pace, it was quite basic uh, from him, and in the end, Paul, the winner of Circuit 9, who was a bit awkward out, uh, ran over top of them all. He did, didn't he, and he'd probably try and do something similar. Young Sparkle was a little bit handy over a thousand, but I just think they'll try and take a little bit of cover there from that wider draw. OK, well... There's uh, only one main form race to have a look at here, and it was the uh, the opening Griffin race of uh, the season. We'll get to that in a second. Let's hear from the jockey who will be on board Circuit 9, though, Matthew Chadwick. Matthew, Circuit 9 um, is a horse who uh, was a bit of a mixed bag last time out on debut. He gave you one or two headaches before the race, but was good during it. Um, what's your overall assessment of that performance? Well, we're pretty happy. We knew he would jump on turns, but then be slow to muster. But we knew he would be hitting the line, so... We're pretty happy with how, he, how it turned out. And just, obviously, I mentioned, obviously, slight antics beforehand. He was a little bit reluctant to, to go to post. Was that just a case of first day at school nerves kind of thing? I'd assume so. I mean, it's first time out under pressure, so um, hopefully he's learned from that and uh, he'll be a bit more docile going in the gates this time. And the nature of the win, obviously, as you say, I mean, he, he did start that bit slowly but came home strongly. Going up to 1,200 metres, I mean, that looks short to suit him, doesn't it? Yeah, it looks like uh, the further he gets with the, with the distance, the better it will suit him. He, he seems to jump well, uh, well enough on terms with him. He's just slow to muster up. So, uh, but you never know in these Griffin races how fast they're going to go. So. And he's got the form claims over, obviously, the majority of the field. He beat all bar one of them on his debut. I know you haven't ridden him track work since then, but have the reports been good from the stable? Tony always has his horse as well, so uh, I assume he's come on from that. Uh, so we'll just have to see how he jumps this time and uh, how the race pans out. Even a small field, but gate number one, obviously, has got to be a massive advantage. You're going to save plenty of ground down there. Well, it's definitely, uh, it's got its upset. It's got its highs and lows, giving gate one in the Griffin race. They could spread out, they could not. If he jumps better than he does, or if he's been in amongst them, so that'd be another another thing to overcome. But he's he's had to go through them in a couple of his trials, so hopefully he's... He's maturing and uh, he puts his best foot forward and he can get through them if he has to. If not, and he, he finds himself a bit further apart, further back, come around the outside and uh, get him late. Matthew, you were a big part of probably one of the most memorable Griffin races ever run here in, in Hong Kong, obviously Pakistan style. This is the Pakistan style plate. Um, great memories of that horse. I'm sure you and Tony would love to win this one. We'd love to win any race, to be fair. Uh, but yes, yeah, so it was a great horse. He was same sort of thing, same sort of uh, racing style. He jumped well. It was a bit slower, but he never seemed to want to muster early. But we always knew he had the ability, and uh, he would kick home late. So hopefully this fella can do the same. Hopefully he can jump a bit more, more, on, more on time, and uh, jump with the field, and then uh, he can show a bit more improvement and uh, kick clear again. As far as that first race was concerned, Tom, there's nothing 
obvious to say that he, he shouldn't beat them again. I think Young Spark would probably get a little bit closer to him, but uh, the others, he, he had cold, didn't he? Yeah, he did, and uh, as was sort of referred to in the interview there as well, he put on a bit of a show before the race. Mm. He wanted to escape up the walkway to uh, head back to the, the stables, and they got him out onto the track, and he, he was fine after that, but he was awkward out. I think you'd want to see Paul a little bit more improvement from Lucky Banner. He'd had one trial and was 800 metres. He was well fenced to the market. It was pretty plain Jane in the end. Yeah, exactly. And the other one that only had the one 800 metre uh, trial was Superb Boy as well. So both those two horses uh, should improve just on the back of one trial. It's very hard to win here in Hong Kong on the back of one trial. So I, I expect a better showing from those two. Yeah, I think they should both improve. But I think Circuit 9 will improve. That's yeah, the, yeah, the yeah. difficult thing for them. But here's the other, uh, what, well, the debutante in the in the lineup, but Paul. Our precious Casper found he's a Ravens past three year old. Yeah, so he's had three 800 metre trials. He's 1,129 pounds coming to this. Like he hasn't shown much speed at all in his trials. He's pushed out. So there's that unknown for the extra 400, I suppose. Yeah, the, the gate speed's been an issue for him. Uh, he's been slow out in pretty much all of his trials. Wasn't too much pressure put on him over the, the final stages of this barrier trial. Came out of the Arcana, uh, two-year-old to sail. Um, got him in top four, but he, his gate speed is a, a worry. Yeah, he made up a little bit of ground late, didn't he? So we got the scratching here of uh, Joyful Champion. It would have had some sort of chance. Circuit nine... The obvious pick? Yeah, yes, I think so. And you, as you say, he's going to improve off the back. And he did show a really good piece of mo uh, motor to win that race and did beat a 1.3 favourite in doing so. So he won. Um, young Sparkle, he comes in there for second. I think he'll improve off the back of his 1,000 metre run. And the two horses only had one trial. Lucky Banner and Superb Move, 1746. Don't need reminding about a 1.3 favourite being <laughs> beaten on debut. When it was your best bet. Uh, circuit nine on top, though. He looks, I think, uh, the good see uh, here. Lucky Banner to hopefully improve Young Sparkle and to our pressure. So one, four, seven, and five. Not too much different from me. The market will tell you that Circuit 9 will be favourite, hardest to beat, and Young Sparkle is biggest danger, 1 and 7. I think the queue there, probably the forecast in race number one, which is for the Griffins, over the 1,200.